Saturn, adorned with thousands of beautiful ringlets, is the second largest planet in our solar system. Though, it is not the only planet to have rings, but none are as spectacular or as complicated as Saturn's. Let us begin our journey to the Saturn. Four and a half billion years ago, a vast cloud of dirty ice particles, shrouded in hydrogen and helium collapses, under its own gravity, and at the center a new star or sun sparks into life. The heat of the new star melts the ice, closest to it in the outer region was cold enough, for ices to remain intact. These ices came together, forming larger and larger planetesimals. And these planetesimals collided together, merging into planets such as Saturn. Since Saturn was smaller than Jupiter, it cooled down more quickly. Saturn is an almost entirely gaseous planet, in the sense, that most of its mass is hydrogen and helium. At Saturn's center is a hot solid inner core of iron and rocky material, surrounded by an outer core composed of ammonia, methane, and water. Next is a layer of highly compressed, liquid metallic hydrogen, followed by a region of viscous hydrogen and helium. This hydrogen and helium becomes gaseous, near the planet's surface and merges with its atmosphere. Upon arrival, you might be slightly disappointed, that the cloudy face of Saturn looks a little plain. But, the planet beneath the rings is wild at heart. Saturn's apparently peaceful appearances is due to, a haze of high-level ammonia in the upper atmosphere. By looking deep into Saturn, in the infrared, Cassini has revealed the planet's true nature. The winds on Saturn can get close to 900 miles an hour. As a gas giant, Saturn doesn't have a true surface. The planet is mostly swirling gases and liquids. While, a spacecraft would have nowhere to land on Saturn, it wouldn't be able to fly through unscathed either. The extreme pressures and temperatures deep inside the planet would crush, melt and vaporize a metal spacecraft, trying to fly through the planet. Saturn has a hexagon, a six-sided vortex at the North Pole, some kind of a permanent wave. This is just an example of how atmospheric features, which are basically nothing but, gas last forever on these giant planets. There is another permanent storm at the South Pole, not quite as strange, but gigantic in size at 5,000 miles across. You could almost fit the whole Earth inside this storm, that looks very much like a hurricane. Saturn's rings are believed to be pieces of comets, asteroids or shattered moons, that broke up before they reached the planet torn apart by Saturn's powerful gravity. Saturn's rings are made up of chunks of ice and rock, with pieces ranging in size from a grain of sand to a house. The rings combined stretch 175,000 miles from Saturn, and they aren't totally solid. Each of the ring is made up of multiple rings, that you can see close up as from their origin. They are named alphabetically in the order they were discovered. Saturn's moons also play a vital part in keeping the rings distinct from one another because of its gravity. Saturn's magnetic field is smaller than Jupiter's, but still 578 times as powerful as Earth's. Saturn, the rings, and many of the satellites why totally within Saturn's enormous magnetosphere, the region of space in which the behavior of electrically charged particles is, influenced more by Saturn's magnetic field than by the solar wind. Each of Saturn's moons, tells another piece of the story surrounding the Saturn system. Currently Saturn has 53 confirmed moons with nine additional provisional moons awaiting confirmation. Saturn's largest satellite, Titan, 
is a bit bigger than the planet Mercury. Saturn's smallest moon is Enceladus. Enceladus shows evidence of ice volcanism, and a hidden ocean spewing out water, and other chemicals from the 101 geysers spotted, at the moon's south pole. NASA's Cassini spacecraft becomes the first to orbit Saturn, beginning a decade-long mission, that revealed many secrets and surprises about Saturn, and its system of rings and moons. The European Space Agency's Huygens Probe is the first spacecraft to make a soft landing on the surface of another planet's moon, Saturn's giant moon Titan. NASA's Cassini spacecraft made its final approach to Saturn and dove into the planet's atmosphere on Friday, September 15, 